ago, we told you about new research talking about the connection between climate change and the jet stream region and brand new information details what this means closer to us here at home when it comes to flying over the North Atlantic. The researchers found severe clear air turbulence increased from over 17 hours in 1979 to more than 27 hours in 2020. That is a 55% increase for an average point over the North Atlantic. Moderate turbulence there increased by 37% from 70 to 96 hours. To test this turbulence. Mark Proser from the University of Reading analyzed 40 years of high quality atmospheric data, but Mark told me there is still a ways to go. There's a lot of work to be done on um, improving uh, our forecasting ability. And if we manage to do that, then uh, over the coming years, then even if uh, the atmosphere becomes more turbulent, passengers might not notice because we'll be so good at uh, avoiding it. Now, while the North Atlantic experienced the largest increases, the new study found that flight routes over the U.S., Europe, the Middle East, and the South Atlantic also saw significant increases in turbulence. Warmer air as a result of carbon dioxide emissions is increasing the wind shear in the jet streams, strengthening clear air turbulence in the North Atlantic and, like we just told you, globally. To check out my story that first aired a few weeks ago, just visit the WUSA9 app.